So, like, there's been a gigantic lack of transparency between the devs and the players for the most of the game. Like, most of the, for the length of the game's life, I'd say 80% of it, very little communication. And nowadays, I feel like they're much more accountable. Like, they have social media, I think that's a big deal. They show up to streamers' chat sometimes. Regular players are also a big part of it. Like, I, I think in, on social media, they respond to a lot of people. Um, they are much more like the spell audit thing. They actually like put out a document detailing the rules that the spells follow. Like you would never think that was going to be a thing, but these are like, you would understand why the spells are doing what they do. And that you would even understand, they even gave an explanation of why they audited. Like these kind of things just didn't exist years or even just a few months ago, you know? I feel like the game's in kind of a, it's going in a, a good direction right now. They just need to keep up what they're doing. And I feel like the game has a really nice, tightly knit community around it and like a closed player base that's like really loyal to the game. The players that are currently playing it are probably going to be playing it for a long time. The players that are playing it right now have been playing for a long time and I think they will still keep on playing it for a long time. Just those memories of just logging on after school and just being excited to talk to your friends because you know they're going to be online and just kind of like chat and have a good time and being like hey let's have a party stuff like that i don't know that was super super fun for me back then when i think back my favorite memory was just during the summers i remember i'd be in my bedroom on my laptop like after everyone's gone to sleep I would just be like on a on a nice summer night, like having the fan on and like hearing crickets chirping and things like that. Just questing through, you know, whatever world it was. Winter Tusk, which is one of my personal favorite worlds. Uh, just questing through there on like a summer night after after a long school year and things like that. Just relaxing, staying up a little bit late at night, playing a little bit of Wizard 101. Definitely one of the biggest memories that stands out to me is back when you know I was playing when the game like first came out I was probably 10 11 years old and I remember uh, it was the first time I'd gone a, a, a wizard up in in Dragonspire and I had finally got to the quest like I, I'd been questing with my IRL friend and um, I remember I was on like the master quest and like we planned we're like okay we're gonna wait to do it this weekend and have a sleepover and I ended up like going to his house and like I think I stayed up past 2 a.m. or something like that it was just like crazy like we just did master I remember it was like really hard we kept dying and stuff but the whole dungeon was like so cool and like the storyline I was really into it at the time and just being less like you know a 10 11 year old it was like a really cool experience and I remember like I'll, I'll probably never forget that weekend like just finishing uh, Dragon Spire and beating Malister you know for the first time that was really really cool that's definitely uh, one of my favorite memories from the game one of my favorite memories this is really rare drop that I got and it's called the amulet of divine influence it's a super super rare drop and I remember when I got it, I was in I was in college by now, right? This is like much later on. I was like, I think I was like a freshman in college. I like screamed at the top of my lungs when I got it. And like everyone in the dorm, like <laughs> they thought that something was wrong or something. Honestly, speaking of the dorm, another thing that I think is kind of funny. I had a roommate as a freshman and we needed to communicate about when I was recording and when I wasn't. Like if I was streaming, right? If I was live, then it didn't matter, you know, he I, he was like totally chill with just walking in and out. But if I was like recording, which normally takes like 20 minutes or something, right? I, sometimes I just need that space, you know, I just need that, the room for those 20 minutes. So I used to put a sock on the door, uh, like an idiot, because I thought that that would be a good, so the first few days uh, as a freshman when I was recording and being loud as hell, much louder than I am nowadays, by the way, when I'm recording, like loud, People used to come out trying to see what the hell was happening. They saw the sock on the door. And then they, I had a reputation for the first few weeks that I did not need. You know, I did not need. I would, I don't remember the exact year. I want to say like maybe 2012, maybe 2013. Um, I guess that would have made me like 12 and it would have made him 14 because he's two years older than me. Um, so we met on the game and at the time he was living in West Virginia and I was living here in Missouri where I still live and we were just friends at the time but we were always playing with each other and we exchanged Skype and everything like that so we would do Skype and play the game and we got really 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 close and we dated on and off. 2017 
um, we were like officially dating and he was like on FaceTime with me one day and saying, hey, I feel like we should like meet in person. Let's like make this official. And I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> that was like my first time meeting an online friend. He bought a plane ticket and flew out here. It was my senior year. It, it was during the weekend and um, stayed at my house. And my parents were like, kind of weirded out um, that there was this random guy at my house, but like they knew who he was because I mean, I'd known him for several years. And that's whenever we made our like dating like official. He moved down here and now we live together. Wizard 101 literally brought us together and I think that it's almost something that I can like brag about now because we're like we made it work and we met on a children's card game. <laughs> Watching that first cinematic, you know, come to life like oh no like we did it like there it is it's happening so good and then just having the fans you know appreciate and love the game as much as we did that validation it's just it feels great like I said I'm still talking to people today about that game that I started making 15 years ago we're paid to make games that's what we do and and, and we do that but then when you actually enjoy the game you're working on, you could feel it in the studio that people were, they were playing outside of work, right? They were, they were fans of the game. You don't always get that, but when you do, you can feel it, you know? You can really feel it. Um, and that just, you just feed off of it. You have a, a generation that came up in Wizard 101, right? And they, um, to a large degree, I think it, it might have inspired or influenced them to do art or to do writing or to do voice acting or to do just game design or to do programming. And that's actually really fulfilling. It's, it's one of the things that's cooler about my job is knowing now that other individuals out there who, who are gonna embark on their own careers, that they're gonna find their own creative endeavors that they wanna start, that they will now throw elements of Wizard into the mix of what they build the same way we drew from Narnia, or we drew from the Muppets, or we drew from Pokemon. It's really cool. Monica and this is uh, why Wizard 101 uh, basically made my childhood all that much better. I didn't, I remember going over to my friend's house down the street and I would came over one day and I saw that she was playing this Wizard 101 game and I was like, oh, this looks fun. And so I sat down, she helped me make an account from that day forward for like as long as I can remember, almost every day when I went over to her house, we played the game together. Wither 101 literally helped our friendship grow even stronger than I think it would have if we didn't play the game together. It was just, Wither 101 will always have a, a very special place in my heart. Wither 101 has meant a lot to me. I grew up not having many friends and I would play Wizard 101 all the time and in seventh grade I met two of my best friends from Wizard 101 and we've known each other now for like eight years and they were probably like my first friends ever they really got me into online games because Wizard 101 just felt like a place to hang out with them and I will always love Wizard 101 for giving me my first friends Wizard 101 does have a team aspect. It has really impacted my life because not only has teamwork within the game gotten me out of my comfort zone talking to other players and working with other players and talking to them, but it really gave me leadership and communication skills which I was able to transfer to my own personal life. And as a recent college graduate, class of 2020, 
I would say that those skills really helped me in college because college is all about working in teams. My favorite memory of Wiz so far in the eight years I've been playing has definitely been when I hit max on my first character. So I hit max after seven years of playing. It was just such a momentous moment and I wouldn't change my playing experience for the world. And this game has changed my life and I give it all the credit in the world for making be the person I am today. So as a child, um, I really kind of lacked a lot of social skills. Um, I would be scared to talk to people in my school because I was different from the majority in terms of you know, socioeconomic status, race, culture. It's just I felt really uncomfortable, but Wizard 101 provided me um, a way to kind of connect with people without kind of those boundaries, I guess, with those quote unquote limitations. And it's just like a sense of peace and it's like an escape from the harsh reality of our world um, and I love it so much and I don't think I'll ever stop playing. I've been playing Wizard 101 since 2009 and in that time the game has changed my life by giving me an avenue to connect more with my twin sister. Before we found the game we shared little in common and didn't do anything together. Now even years later though we still regularly call each other up and say, hey, do you want us to play Wizard 101 today? It's really given us something to bond over and treasure together. Hi there, I'm Z, or better known as Sophia Dreamheart and Wizard 101. Uh, one of the biggest impacts in my life that Wizard 101 has had is by helping me meet my two childhood best friends. We all met and bonded through Wizard 101, and from there it was an instant connection. I genuinely believe they're my platonic soulmates, they're even like sisters to me. And the three of us have been best friends for nearly a decade and we're still close as ever. I can't imagine my life without them and they've been there for me through so much. Our friendship has always been full of love and support and understanding. And I was the one I wanted to thank greatly because I wouldn't have had the opportunity to meet and bond with these amazing people if it weren't for the game. Also, quarantine has admittedly affected a lot of people's mental state. And getting back into Wizard 101 during it has been really therapeutic and helpful for me. Plus, I actually got back in touch and caught up with a friend I played with years and years ago, which was really lovely. My name is Claudia, and my in-game Wizard 101 name is Madeline Winterflame. So I'm from Singapore, and I've basically been playing this game for over 7 years now. So I've basically met my two best friends in the whole entire world from Wiz, and they're from Australia and America, and we've known each other for like... Eight years now yeah so one of my favorite whiz memories is that you know every time I hang out with a friend or I'm PvPing or questing I'll take a screenshot so right now in my computer I actually have over a thousand screenshots of wizard 101 gameplay of just me hanging with my friends etc on a more personal note I've actually had quite a few mental setbacks growing up and during my really dark episodes it was those people that I met on whiz that really helped me through they are my best friends, they are my pillars of strength actually, and I'm just so grateful for them. And essentially, I know that my life would not be the same if I've never played with, because I wouldn't meet all these amazing people, I wouldn't have all these amazing screenshots, and I just owe, owe like everything to them. <laughs> Line. What an ending to such a bitter chapter. Thank you all for never giving up on this world, especially you, wizard. I love you all.